GMC has been in the SUV business longer than most of the competition has even existed. The GMC Suburban hit the market in 1937, or 61 years before Lexus began churning out the RX 366 years before Porsche introduced the big leap of sports car on the trail that is the Cayenne. But that Suburban was a truck, and GMC's existence has always been justified as being the division that builds trucks for people who just like trucks. The Acadia Nolly may be the least truck-like thing ever to wear the brand's logo, but Nolly is the logo of a top-rung member of the Acadia family. Redesigned for 2017, the new Acadia moves from the previous generation's decade-old Lambda platform that it shared with the Chevrolet Traverse, new Upgrade, and long-dead Saturn Outlook to General Motors' new C1 platform, designed specifically to underpin mid-size and full-size crossovers. GMC shares the C1 goods with a 2017 Cadillac XT5 and new Buick and Chevy variants coming soon. The big difference between the two generations of Cadillac is the bigness. The new one is less of it. Power the Acadia Valley is a version of the redesigned direct injected 3.6 liter V6 that GM installs in everything from the Chevy Colorado pickup to the Cadillac CT6 luxury sedan. It's capable of running on four cylinders during light low conditions and shares little with a 3.6 liter V6 powering the outgoing Acadia, which, by the way, for 2017 is sold during and alongside the new model but under the Acadia Limited name plate. Output of the new engine is 310 horsepower instead of 281 or 288. There's still a six-speed automatic aboard the Arcadia Dolly, though, which seems anachronistic in an age where 10 speeds are the latest thing in the Cadillac's double-made uses an eight-speed.